Mr. Man. Hello, everybody, uh, and welcome to Facebook Live. Um, I am Jay Sassel, and I want to talk to you about a few things. Um, I'll let the audience build before I go on my rant, because tonight is going to be a little bit ranty. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. My head is slipped off um, over certain things, um, and I want to explain a few reasons about why I do some stuff training-wise, uh, why I am... Um, oh, I've actually clicked my own own Facebook Live. Um, okay, so one of the... Hello, Ed Wood, how are you? Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about this bad boy. Um a training mask, uh, you will have seen that I would have posted uh, two or three videos of it wearing it, and I would have had about, I'd say, 20, maybe 30 comments as to why I'm wearing this, apparently it's a gimmick, apparently um, I'm, you know, it, it doesn't simulate altitude or anything, right, let's get a few things straight off the bat, okay, firstly, I know that this does not simulate altitude, i.e., Wearing it's not going to increase my red blood cells that I'm not going to somehow get an amazing benefit. Whereas, you know, if I'd been at 16,000 feet um, training versus wearing this. So I fully understand that. The reason I wear this is for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it makes everything you're doing 10 times harder because uh, your breathing's restricted. It's very difficult to catch your breath. But more importantly, when you play rugby, and you will have seen, there are phases of play that go on for a minute, two minutes maximum kind of three or four minutes, right? These are very hard periods of, of, of training where you're feeling absolutely in hell. You've done a combination of running, tackling, getting to your feet, going off your feet, um, wrestling, running, all these kind of things, right? So you, you're always out of breath. So the most important thing as an athlete is to be able to control your breathing and learn to recover quickly, right? Fitness doesn't get any easier. I don't care what anybody says, right? The fitter you are, the harder the fitness is because you can keep pushing yourself. Just because you're super fit doesn't mean that you suddenly become impervious to doing fitness. You might be able to find it easier, but you have to keep working harder to push yourself. So the reason I wear the mask, i.e. this thing, is because when I'm training, A, I've had a bad toe, so I haven't been able to do loads and loads of running around and fitness, which... Um, is is you know is what it is. So when I'm doing a, a circuit in the gym, I like to wear this because a it makes things harder, but b I'm constantly thinking about trying to control my breathing so I can relax, so I don't become like <gasps> you hear people do that all the time, and it's <sighs> trying to breathe, trying to relax, trying to keep things under control. You know, that is the reason I wear this mask. It is for no other reason. So can everyone just please shut up? Stop ticking their two penny worth. I don't care if science has said that it doesn't prove anything, that it's not at altitude. That's not why I'm wearing it. So when people post stuff on social media, right, assume that there is a reason behind it and that you don't, all your armchair ball bags, have to spend all your time writing. It's the most painful thing about social media. The reason we run a Facebook page and we do all the stuff is to help explain things, show behind the scenes kind of stuff we do. Okay, me wearing this training mask, got nothing to do with the mask, got nothing to do with anything else. I've decided to give it an op opportunity, I've decided to try it because I wanted to see how it feels and how it works out. And, and during my sessions, it's really good. And obviously, if you've got a short window of time, as I said, it makes life a little bit more difficult and also helps you think about your breathing, get your recovery under control. And, you know, I'm sure there's some, you know, benefits in terms of lung capacity stuff to your, or because you're breathing, but I don't know. I don't know the science. Let's stay away from that. Let's, let's talk about it for the reason I use it, okay? The second thing I want to talk to you about today is uh, is a little bit about um, comment stuff on my Facebook page. So what I try to do with social media is run a really good positive page where uh, I share training stuff with you, I share diet stuff with you, we share some funny videos, we make funny videos for you guys to enjoy. But um, And obviously you've got free to comment, it's great, great to have interaction, so much of it is positive, so much of it is really good. However... Um, it's a lot of people just take the opportunity to be negative, to write shit chat, to write homophobic stuff, which I, I have zero tolerance for homophobic stuff in any way. Listen, I, I, you know, I'm guilty like most people sometimes using homophobic language. I don't mean to, but I, I do it. It's become common parlance. I know it's not acceptable, but I do that. However, when I'm posting things about like rainbow laces and doing things like that and like trying to raise awareness for lesbian, gay and transgender and, and giving support, I don't expect people to write stupid shit underneath it or homophobic shit because I just block you like my block list is getting so big because people are just 
such dicks. So it goes from homophobia to you've skipped leg day to you're punching every time I post a picture of me and Chloe. Like, it's just boring. Just try to use social media for the positive venue that it should be used for. It's a great tool, right? The world is disappearing down the toilet via social media because people who don't necessarily deserve opinion are given their opinion and it should be a place of like positivity. So can everyone just please take the foot off the gas with that? Um, the other thing I wanted to talk a little bit about as well is this, people have posted a couple of things recently about... Um, I've been lucky enough to be working with Sky... Uh, at uh, Twickenham, watching the England games. Obviously, it's, you know, for me, it's a great privilege to work with Sky and to watch the boys play. But you know, when we're doing the filming stuff, I've been like by pitch side. I've been up in the studio, in and out of the truck the whole time. And obviously, it's live TV, so you've got to rush from one place to another. And a few people have like tweeted comments about me not stopping for photographs or not doing anything like that. I have never ever not stopped for people. But obviously, if I'm running to get on studio to do stuff, then I can't then I can't stop. And I just hate how people take this opportunity to write absolute bullshit and stuff on social media. It normally wouldn't bother me, but I haven't played for a while and I haven't hit anyone for a while and my temper is pretty short at the best of times at the moment. And I just find stuff like that when I always stop for photos, I always stop for autographs. I find it a great privilege. Like, I love my fans. You guys are amazing. And people to write that, it's pretty, bu- pretty bullshit. Um, I mean, some bloke on Twitter just written to me saying that apparently five years ago I didn't stop to sign his autograph after an Italy game. Like, I, th- I think he might have learning difficulties. I don't know. But essentially, um, the guy's a fucking idiot. So... I just think things like that, it's just important to, to note that. So for those of you just tuning in, we've talked a little bit about Training Mars, the reason I really like it. It's part of my training routine. It's not something I'm made to wear. I quite enjoy wearing it. Uh, there's no um, there's no reason and science behind it other than I find it really good to mimic the kind of pressure you feel when you're playing, when you're going from ruck to tackle to breakdown. Um, it makes sessions a little bit more difficult when you're not as mobile as I am. My foot, I'm not able to do crazy sessions at the moment so you have to kind of make do with what you've got uh we've talked a little bit about you know just trying to be positive on the social media page um you know shit comments shit banter terrible chat racism homophobia stuff i just don't like i'm going to block and i've got i couldn't care less people tweet me going oh mate why have you blocked me if i blocked you it's because i didn't like what you did i didn't like what you said and just get over it um the other thing we'll talk about was, I can't remember what else I said I was going to talk about today. Let me have a little look and see at my see my list. I might answer some of your um, your questions. Can't please everyone, mate, just get back fit and twice as strong. That is the chat. Keep up the great work. You see, I seem angry. I prefer happy house. Sorry, Carl, I am angry. I haven't tackled anyone in weeks and my head is, um, is slipping off a little bit at the moment. But um, training's going well, really enjoying my training. I'm finishing off uh, my new book. You will have seen that I've got a book coming out very soon, which, well, not very soon, but next spring, which is going to be awesome. Uh, it's with Hodder. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be um, a general health and fitness book for all of you guys out there. It's going to have recipes in there. We're going to have training plans. We're going to have everything um, and all the stuff you could possibly want. I'm going to do a little bit about. Um, Has for PM. Cheers, Josh. I appreciate that. I would like to be PM one day. Um, But, um, well, actually, I've had a fair few scandals, so I'm probably overqualified in that department. Uh, I'm just going to have a little look and see what else I wanted to talk to you guys about um, today. Um, I also think... um, What else was I going to say? Obviously, Movember's finishing up pretty soon. We announced the winner... Um, which I'm going to do tomorrow of uh, the person wearing a sign wash shirt. I put a video that's down on my Facebook page a little while ago, which uh, is um, about you know why you know why you really like November. Why have you grown a moustache? And we you know the winner's getting a sign wash shirt. So I'm going to announce that uh, tomorrow. So if you haven't made, please make a comment. Um, what else we got here? Great boat. Love the videos. Thanks for taking the time out to do them. No problem, Eric. Really appreciate that. Um, bring back the Owen Faz bromance, mate. He's busy. He's busy playing very well for England. No time for me. Um, what's going on here? Uh, any chance for shout out? New um, is Richard made a nice guy. Yes, he's an amazing guy. Very nice guy. Really, uh, I can't fault him. He appreciates my chat, which is half the battle. Um, but anyway, listen, I really appreciate you guys. I just wanted to get that video off my chest, just talk a little bit about the training mask, as I said, a little bit about social media thing, a little bit as well as well. You know, I think it's great. People want to have photographs and everything else, and I would always do that, as I said. But if someone's working, like a couple of times I've been on TV with the thing and people screaming over barriers and stuff, like it's very difficult because I feel, I feel bad. But sometimes if you're running from A to B, there's nothing you can do about it. So... Um, 
Everyone keep your head on, keep supporting. Really love you guys. Thanks very much for your support. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back playing too. What is the picture behind you? That is us winning the um, the Grand Slam. Not a bad reminder. Um, I'm also um, trying to think what else I was going to talk to you about. I think that's it. I'll answer some of your questions now just quickly. Um, thanks for coming to Amish and Chilton. I really appreciate that, guys. No problem. I'm coming to a book. I'm going to uh, Nantwich Bookshop tomorrow. Um, if any of you are around up that way, I'm going to a book signing, do a little talk, a little Q&A. If you head over there, uh, Nantwich, Nantwich Bookshop, I will be there. Um, I hope to catch up with some of you guys soon. Rehab's going really well. Uh, I'm looking to be back fit, um, hopefully end of December, beginning of January. We'll see what the story about it is. But anyway, um, big love to you guys. Thanks so much for your support. And um, keep, the positive, keep, pos- p- 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 keep the positivity going. Please be good on um, social media. Enjoy the videos. And I'll catch you soon.